ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another Destiny video here with Sir Enzo. Today is a very special day. Um, a couple days ago, last, sometime last week, the Daily Heroic Story mission was the mission Lost to Light. Uh, it was also that today, which is why I made this video today, because I wasn't on last week. Um, why is this special? What is, why is this important? Well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, there's an alternate route in this hero heroic story mission. Uh, about halfway through, or I guess a little bit towards the end, you take an alternate route. Instead of going the traditional route, you go up Tanix's ship as you would in his strike mission from the House of Wolves DLC. Um, but Tanix and the Fallen and the House of Wolves aren't there. Instead, it's the Taken. And they're taken... Uh, some names and whipping ass because we got uh, absolutely smoked in uh, this mission. Um, prior to this, I didn't realize that one of the guys in the fire team was only level light level 206. The recommended light level was 240. Now, I want to point out that three fire team members of around Nightfall or Heroic Story level, like 260 to 280 or above, is going to do very well and should be able to complete this mission um basically you just for the beginning part of it i would recommend you literally just run past everything just run to the points that you have to get to just kind of do it relatively quick there's rumors that there's a timer on the door um to get to tanix and that whole area where the strike mission begins and the secret area kind of opens up um, I don't know that there's a time limit to get there. I know there's a time limit once you get in there of 10 minutes um, to complete the second secret portion and get the black spindle. Um, I do know that you cannot wipe. If your entire fire team wipes, you will not be able to open, the door won't be open. Uh, very similarly, um, people have said, like I was just saying before, that there's a time limit, but there's nothing that would suggest that. I didn't encounter any problems. Just, if you are scared of the rumor of a suggested time limit, my suggestion would be to just run. Just run to the end of the mission, kill the ogre, um, run out, back down towards the hallway, use the orbs to open the first two doors. You do not open the third door. The third door is in the same room that would where where it would be where you would go to fight Tanix. And that's where you're going to go. You're going to go up you'll see in the video we open the first two doors. We get to where Tanix would be and you go up there, you go up into the catch, the fallen House of Wolves catch and the Taken are there and that's when a 10 minute timer starts. You have to go kill all the Taken, try to get to the final room where Tanix is in 10 minutes, kill him. Wipe out all the and wipe out all the ads in that 10 minute timer. Uh, it's very difficult when you don't have somebody of light level. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it uh, with anybody below 260. Um, you can theoretically do it is only level 240 light level. It, you can theoretically do it that quickly, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I, I would just stay on the safe side and go with the higher your light level, the better for your fire team. Um, everybody in the fire team gets the black spindle if you do, in fact, complete it. Uh, in this particular video, we did not complete it. We got all the way up to the end, and we got burned out by the timer because the 204, 206 light level guy that I didn't realize was in the fire team was just not strong enough. He just couldn't help us out enough, and we just couldn't burn the guy or the ads at the end in time. Now, uh, finally, when you do get to the final chamber, the final area with the last taken boss and all the ads and you have to kill all the ads and the boss you should have around like seven minutes left seven to five minutes that should be plenty amount plenty of time to take out the final room um i would recommend using the shadow shot on the boss so that you can do precision damage wherever you hit him whenever you do that though make sure your fire team focuses damage on him when you use shadow shot on him so you get the most dps out of using the super that way um I would also recommend that somebody, one person, focuses on the big black balls that spawn the Taken, and then another person focuses on the boss. Uh, this is going to help you burn both of them relatively quickly. It's going to keep the ad count down, 
and then the third person would focus on ads and the boss and just switch back and forth as needed. Prime, um, primary focus would be keeping some of the ads off. But, you know, if your time is, if you're short on time, if you only have five minutes when you enter the room, I would have that person primarily focus on the boss and just trying to burn the boss and really just trying to get you to the end as quickly as possible. Um, once you kill the boss, it becomes a lot easier to clear the rest of the room of the ads. That's the way I would recommend doing it, but you, you have to have a little bit of both. You can't just do one or the other. You really do have to just kind of have a half-and-half half strategy. One person taking out the ball, the black balls and some of the ads, another person on the boss, and then another person doing a little bit of both. Um, the first part of the last room that you walk into, where it's kind of a, a, an oval shape, and there's that like glass in front of you, and you can exit either to the left or to the right, the big boss is going to spawn where Tanix would, up on the platform in the middle of the room. That first area that you walk into is a pretty good area to camp and just pop out and snipe the boss. Um, it's a pretty good area to pop out and clear some ads. Um, it's also going to have that front wall to shield you from some of the enemy's fire if you're taking too much damage. That's probably the best place to go to camp to try to kill the boss and clear the room of the ads. And claim yourself a black spindle at the end. Um, obviously the video is not up to where I am in explaining how to do this so I'm just gonna let the rest of this video play it's kinda lengthy um, like I said at the end we did fail but the video is still good because it gives you a general idea and a general sense of what you need to do and how you're gonna accomplish obtaining the black spindle um, if you don't do this today or you didn't do it last week you're gonna have to wait until the lost to light mission rotates again into the daily heroic story um, it's it's not you we people have tried to do it regularly and i don't think that you can i think it has to be the daily heroic story which is something that bungie has done in this dlc which is new adding little tidbits and stuff that can only be accessed in the daily heroic story missions making them even more vital to do on top of the fact that you're getting the 15 legendary marks so all of that fun stuff being said Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Like and share it so your friends know about the Black Spindle if they have been living under a rock for the past two weeks. Um, like this video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe for more Destiny content. I know this is like my first video in like a week. I haven't been putting out videos as much as I'd like to with uh, school and work and stuff and juggling all that stuff. But you guys have been watching my videos. Um, the Sleeper Stimulant video got a crap ton of views, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Enzo, you are YouTube, and as always, stay classy, Internet. Yeah, but we gotta, yeah, this is the bit right here, but, um, strange, I'm picking up once, a fallen distress beacon. Once we go up this chute, now hold on a second, once we go up here, I believe as soon as we get up here, a ten minute timer starts, so we're gonna have ten minutes from when we walk up here. To, fit, to get to the end of this and kill the guy at the end. Alright, you ready? Tanix, yeah. those big black balls because they spawn more cake.
this adventure. Fuck you. Yeah. So that's the timer. We got seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, five minutes might not be enough to do it. We didn't even get to the boss room yet. Alright, take out all the black things.
after we kill the boss, we gotta clear the Roomba bags also, so.